Okay, Floor Explorer here. We're at Silver Spring State Park. We are on an island on the other side of, basically right over there is where the statue of whatever Indian guy it was. I don't know, I don't, I didn't get to go up there. We kayaked up Silver River uh, from Silver Run and we saw the spring earlier. We've seen, a, uh, we've seen, we, we were able to photograph one monkey We've seen probably a dozen monkeys since we've been on this little island. They're literally all over the place. I don't see any at the moment. Um, but we'll keep looking. Uh, anyway, this, this part of the island is, is essentially abandoned. They're, they're, they don't have no trespassing signs, but uh, you know, there's no real access to it. There's a, uh, a boat dock over here where the glass bottom boats used to dock years ago. And we're in right now a uh, the remnant, the ruins, the remains of an amphitheater of some kind. Somebody would have stood down there or somewhere out in there, probably down in there at some point, and presented some sort of show. Now, this thing is not that old. The timbers are still in very good condition. I'm in the thing. I'm standing in the thing. There's parts of it that are rotting away, um, but there's parts of it that aren't. Something that gives us a sense of the newness of it is uh, this, these yellow, uh, the, the, the yellow paint on these steps, that's, that's all new uh, stuff, that's all new technology, I don't want to say technology, but um, you know, that wasn't done in the 70s. The, this, you know, this structure may have been here since then, but they, they uh, handicapped it out and nobody did anything for the handicap until the ADA and I think the ADA was in like the 80s or 90s the Americans with Disabilities Act which essentially stated that everybody had a right to have access to everything that everybody else has regardless of your handicap so uh, you know 99.9 percent .9 degree of that so there would have had to have been and there's a there's a a door over there that I imagine they would have lifted wheelchair people up into. That's where wheelchair people would have been wheeled to. So there was no, there wasn't a ramp here. Maybe there was a ramp over there. Maybe that was a ramp uh, area because it just, it just stops. Um, it's just very interesting to be in a place like this and see these kinds of things. It was once a vibrant place. This would have been part of a zoo. Uh, and then there's also like a theme park, a replica, of, I think it was Fort King, that we're going to go see later. This is our first stop on the exploration trail. Um, there are all kinds of posts that we saw coming back through here, and we're going to go back and see those again. And here's some more posts here. You can see this has been uh, shaped. That one has been as well. That serves as the base of something. You can see this outline here. A very sharp outline uh, and that's also man-made imagine this must have been concrete but I don't know why they would have taken it up and no maybe not concrete because this pipe would have been absorbed in it and would have had to have been broken up to take out any concrete and there's no reason why they would have taken out concrete so I don't think it's necessarily concrete the glass bottom boat just came by out here they still run the glass bottom boats through here it just came by out in this area and so I imagine the monkeys are down there because anytime anybody comes near the, near the shore, the monkeys are going out for a handout because there's still people, believe it or not, that are stupid enough to feed wild animals, including the monkeys. So the monkeys associate animal, I mean humans, with food. So well, anytime they come out, and that's sort of the encounter we had earlier, anytime humans come out this way or, or uh, come near the shore, they, you know, they, they associate that with getting fed so um yeah i bet you this was a ramp although i don't know why it's gone now but clearly there was something you could see very clear cut path through here um there's some metal stanchions there's there's those uh telephone poles that are buried into the ground and cut off at that level which were some sort of uh base for something um and there's some uh, concrete remnants. There's, there's a bunch of blocks, uh, rocks that are sort of 
piled up together that would have been some sort of decorative uh, type arrangement back back in the day. Um, there's also um, I saw some planters, basically, uh, you know, that had wood around them. Uh, this, the wood was still there, and they they were they encompassed a planter, you know, they encompassed a, a tree or some plants or something like some sort of decorative flora and fauna type thing. Well, the LRA has gone over this way, and I suppose I shall follow her over to this dock and conclude this part of the this part of the video on that. But I think this is very interesting. Very cool to come in here and find this still standing. Uh, I was talking to one of the rangers. When she said that the uh, a lot of the animal enclosures from the, the old zoo, which were on the other side of the river, were, were uh, torn down. Uh, so these weren't, I guess, because there was no reason to. And it costs money. Same reason why we see these types of uh, these types of structures wherever we go is that there's no money in it uh, to, to tear them down. There's no benefit. Um, this is a, an old cypress tree, very old, very huge. Not a, it's not a senator or a, you know, kind of a landmark tree or anything like that, but these are, these are very big. I don't know if you really can't get a perspective from the video how big they are, but they're, they're enormous. They're, they're huge. I mean, if I was standing around that little cut right there in that tree, I would, I would, I would fit very well in that. So. All right, well, we're going to continue on and see what else we can see. We're between the pavilion amphitheater and the boat dock, and there's just these raised uh, areas which must have been the sides for a boardwalk of some sort are everywhere i mean there's, cl there's clearly a some sort of a path through here there's obviously a plan um i don't know what this is but it's got rocks all in it uh, at one point i imagine it had something quite different in it maybe it was a pool or something i don't know but um it's not very big and there's concrete and coquina and limestone rock all over the place. So we're going to walk over here and see this. Boat dock area. Thinking real deep right here. Getting out of it okay, but ooh. A couple of deep imprints there. Well something else we saw earlier was that they had uh, wrapped a cable around something, these trees, as to support something. So I'm not sure what that was all about, but Trees are scarred forever by it. You can see the pieces of it. And this is it. This is the old boat dock. So back in the day, we've come up here, got my glass bottom boat. 
and gone down a path of some sort, either a path or a, uh, a boardwalk, and gone on to the amphitheater. Maybe, or yeah, the, the amphitheater. Maybe that's the only part of it that existed. It's the amphitheater. This water is unbelievably clear here. Anyway, the water here is extremely clear. It's difficult to get it into the camera, but there's just fish everywhere down here in this in this water. But you can catch a little bit of in the naked eye can see it very well. There's no glare whatsoever. It's and from some angles, but in the camera it just seems like the camera picks up all the glare, but it's clear straight to the bottom everywhere. We were over on the actual main boil for Silver Springs, the main headwater, and it had to be more than 150 feet down. I mean, it was just boom, straight to the bottom, and long, long way. And here's some more. I don't know why this would have been uncovered, but it was. So we're gonna wrap up part one. There she is. I came down your path. So we're gonna wrap up part one of this uh, this deal and head down down river here and see if we can find some more structures and some more some more stuff. Oh, I love the research assistant. <laughs> okay. Is it is it uh, pertinent to the video? Okay. Lovely research assistant has found, which is her essential job to do, uh, stuff. And this, you can't really see it in the, the camera, but this is plexiglass. This is a busted off piece of plexiglass, and that is a pounded in piece of angle iron. And I don't know the significance, but there's more of this plexiglass here. It's reasonable to assume that it ran the length of this. Now, the only reason to use plexiglass is to see through it. And this little enclosure, we're just off of the, the boat dock here. Amphitheater's over there, 150 yards maybe, 120 yards. Um, so you would have come in here, you would have walked down the path, you would have walked around a bunch of other paths, you would have seen exhibits, you would have seen flora, fauna, you would have seen, uh, you know, probably fish tanks, reptile tanks. Uh, things of that nature. Um, it's, you know, hard to tell what all the enclosure would have been. Maybe otters and things like that. There's some big old honker nails sticking up out of there. Another piece of angle iron. Am I not getting that in the camera? Yeah, I am. There it is. Okay. Um, yeah, so that that's compelling and cool. Um, and we've got... Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some more plexiglass up in there. So yeah, and there's oh, pipes. Sure. There's all kind of pipes. I noticed the pipes around earlier. Well, right here too. Here's a here's a thing that runs across it. So that would have been something too. And that's a little thicker. So it gives you, you know, you could flesh out an idea of what it would have been like. Here's an indentation here. Here's an indentation here. There's one over there. Um, you know, I don't know where the path would have been because you wouldn't have walked along a path in front of a 200 year old cypress tree but you would have walked next to it so there would have been paths all through here laid out and as we've seen earlier they're very clearly delineated cliffs I don't know lack of better words uh, but they might have been in then these these sheared off places they might have been for some sort of an enclosure as well um, and it almost appears like if you look down there on either side you have this clearly cut off part of the bank almost looks like it would have been some sort of a, a path itself so a walkway of some sorts which makes sense because down through there there isn't anything except for cypress knees and they're all shaved off at pretty much the same point so they would have probably cut those off and put the um, boardwalks over top of them so but it makes you wonder, it makes me wonder at least, where the boardwalks went because everything else is here. And what happened to the boardwalks? Did they just rot away in that short a time? 
were they from a different time, an earlier time? So I have some research to do when we get back to the world, but for now. Oh, what is it, sweetie? It's like... Petrified? It's is cement. It's oh, it's cement. Okay, cool. It's like a Some sort of bag. yeah, like a column or something. Column. Okay, yeah, very cool, very cool, super neat. All right, well, we're gonna wrap this part up and get back in our yaks and go down. We have it on good authority that there are more buildings down below. So yay us! It's three o'clock. We got, I'd say, roughly four hours to get back.